it's so so praise time it's praise time on nz radio london on ap radio uk with your friend and brother all feels is my name all feels is my name and i'm coming to you with the word of god with great music like a song that just played there uh, from jennifer cruz light of the world jesus christ is the light of the world and he can shine bright and brighter even to any darkness in our lives today we're just thanking god for everything basically like we have, we've read in philippians chapter 4 verse 6 that don't worry about anything but pray to god about everything and thank him for all he has done you know when you continue in that um, verse verse 7 was saying the peace of god that surpasses all understanding shall guard your heart shall guard your heart let me read it I always like to read my Bible sometimes. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your heart and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. His peace will guide our hearts and our mind as we thank him, as we rely on him, as we hold on, on to him. He is the light of the world, as we have heard there in that great music. He is our peace. You need peace rely on him stay with him stay connected with him he is the way maker he can make way where there seems to be no way if you read isaiah chapter 43 one downward you know he was promising us that he's going to be there with us he's going to hold us with his right hand he will never leave us nor forsake us and he can make way can break every crooked path and make way even in desert in desert i want you to thank him for you know christ-like mind what do i mean by that if you read philippians chapter 2 um verse 5 or so the bible was saying that let this mind be in you which was also in christ the mind of christ that's the kind of mind we should have or that we have if you have that mind i believe i have that mind and i'm praying to god that i should have more of such mind the mind of Christ that is not always about him. It's about others, seven others. You know, the mind that obey to the point of death. The mind that is so humble, obedient, humility, care, love. Let me just read Philippians chapter two. And I'll read verse five here. Philippians chapter two, verse five says, you must have the same attitude this one call it attitude this version says attitude you must have the same attitude that christ jesus had you must have the same attitude that christ jesus had. he was saying let this mind be in you read kjv and, and kjv which was also in christ jesus what kind of mind are we talking about number six philippians 2 6 says though he was god he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Though he was God, he didn't think like, ah, I'm in the same position with God, but what did he do? And instead, verse seven, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave. Look at that, a king living like a slave and was born as human being when he appeared in human form. Verse eight, he humbled himself in obedience that's what i'm saying the art of god i mean christ-like mind is humility mind is obedience mind he he himself in obedience to god he appeared in human form but he humbled himself in obedience to god and died like a criminal he died like a criminal he died a criminal's death on cross another version says he obey unto the death. He obey unto the cross. You know, he obey to the point of he gave everything up and he just went there and he died for us. That's the kind of mind that God is expecting us to have. This kind of um, Christ-like mind. And if you have it, thank God for it. But as I've said, I want more. I want more. I want more. I'm praying for more. You know, the Bible says that we should ask. Don't stop with supplication with prayer make your request known unto god so 
as we are reading together, whatever you want, you can tell God right now that, Lord, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that. As, don't, don't forget that he humbled himself, he obeyed, he loved, he, he, he just listened to God directly. And God gave him a name that's above every other name. That's what we read in verse 10, that every, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. He gave him a name and he elevated him above every other thing because he obeyed, because he humbled himself and because he served. This is the kind of mind I want us to have as we go this week. Instead of murmuring, be grateful. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for what you have in him because we know we can do great and mighty things through him. Is the giver of life. He can give you more than you can even ask or think. So thank him for the little you have and expect him to do great and mighty things. Are you sick? Are you down? No matter what, he says, I will restore you. I will restore your earth. In Jeremiah 30, 17, he was saying, I will restore you. I will restore, I will restore your health. I will heal your wounds. He can do that. He has done it before. He can do it again. Are you going for an interview? You don't have wisdom. You don't know what to do. Rely on him. He says, commit everything into my hand and I will direct you. We give you divine direction. He has all the power in heaven and earth. Don't forget when Jesus Christ arose, he says, all power in heaven and earth has been given unto me. Matthew 28, 18, all power and all authority is in his end. All you need to do is to believe your name and rely on him and rely on him and he will manifest this power in your life. Keep on praising him. Don't stop praising him. Keep on praising him. Let me read one more verse from this Philippians chapter 2, which I like a lot. Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. He was saying we should do everything without grumbling or complaining or murmuring don't don't argue as you go this week just go with the mind of god i want to walk in you i want to walk by your power by your by your grace do everything without complaining and arguing another version says don't murmur without murmuring do everything like that when you do that, what is going to happen? God is going to lift you up. It's going to make you clean. It's going to purify you. It's going to make you more like him. Number 15 says, so that no one can criticize you, live clean, innocent, lives innocent lives as children of God, shining light, like bright light in the world full of God. As we humble ourselves, as we obey, as we love, we will receive the grace to do everything without complaining, without grumbling in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm reading it and I'm praying it and I'm believing it and I'm receiving it. I believe you are receiving it as you go this week in the mighty name of Jesus. It's still praise time. It's just, that's the time that I just encourage people, you know. That's what we do right here. We encourage ourselves with the word of God as we praise God together. It's still praise time. With all views on MZ Radio London, on AP Radio UK, and we've been blasting some great songs, great, great, great songs today, and I've enjoyed myself. I'm still here. I'm not going. We've listened to Light of the World from um, Jennifer Cruz. We've listened to we've listened to It's Not Over Yet from Israel, and right now, let's listen to Alayo, and we'll play one or two more songs before I run off. This is Alayo from Giovanni. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that guy. Yeah, I'm back again. It's the old feels on AP Radio UK on MZ Radio London. And right now you're listening to Praise Time, where we're thanking God for everything he has done for us. If you're just joining us, this is what we do on this show. We thank him because he is God. We thank him for what he has done. We thank him for what he's doing. And we thank him for what he's going to do. And we thank him particularly for the previous weeks because we know he can do greater and mighty things as we go in the new week. This is what we do. And we make our request known unto him. Follow the scriptures, basically, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, which says, don't worry about anything. Pray about everything and thank God 
for all he has done. And today I'm just encouraging us to have the mind of Christ and to thank God. If you have that kind of mind, if you are, you know, you are humble, you can love, you can care, you can obey his principle. Thank God for that. As for me, I want more. So I'm thanking him and asking more. I want to be more like him in all I do. I want to be selfless. I want my life to not just be about me. I want it to be about him and seven others. I believe if we do this, we will, we will, we will fulfill our divine destiny on earth. And as we go this week, I'm handling us into the ends of God. I was reading Philippians chapter 2, uh, verse 14. I was reading verse 14 to 15, which was saying that um, do everything as you go this week, do everything without complaining, without murmuring or arguing. Don't argue, just do it. And as you do that, God, we clean our life. Another version says we will remain on, there's no blame. Use the word the blame, you know. There will not be any stain on us as we do and everything without complaining. But before you do that, you must have given your life to Christ. You must have rely on his word. You must have know that you have to have this mind of Christ that you are dying to flesh and you are living in spirit. You're becoming more like him. You're living innocent life. Say innocent lives as children of God. Then we will shine, shining like, like bright lights in this world full of crooked and perverse people. As we humble ourselves, as we say we are obeying you, Lord, as we are loving, you will teach us to live right, to shine bright in this crooked life, in this perverse life, you know, with perverse people. You know, all the people we meet every day and now and then, it's not easy. But God will help us to live right and to be more like him as we are relying on him. We're talking about the mind of Christ. So I'm praying with you that as you are thanking God, as you are praying to God, that God will reveal himself more and more and more to us this week in the mighty name of Jesus. We will seek God more and he will reveal himself to us. You know, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's the first thing. Every other thing, the yeah, additions. In my language, they say Najara. They are just additions, the house, the wife, the children, the, the cars, all those things, they are jarred. But the main thing is to seek God for us. As you seek God for us this week, I pray that you will see him and all those additions will be added in Jesus' name. It's been an awesome time. I want to say a very big thank you to everyone that are student today, especially if you are our first time listeners, you're just tuning in for the first time. We thank God for your life. Do tune in again. It's every Sunday, 9 p.m. UK time on MZ Radio London, www.mzradiolondon.com or on AP Radio UK, bit.ly forward slash AP Radio UK. So you can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. bit.ly forward slash AP Radio UK. That is our link. And if you want to support us, you want to do anything, you write us on our e email apradiouk at gmail.com you want to give us some advice you want to send some songs in please do that we will appreciate and you can follow us also on all our social media platforms ap radio uk same one word ap radio uk on instagram on twitter on facebook even on youtube as well same with nz radio london Thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Thank you to my station manager and my friend, my brother, Mr. Soji Amoni. God bless you real good, and to my wife for keeping it real. God bless you. To all the artists that have played their songs today, thank you so much. Just sing any more songs, and we will try and play your song. Till I catch you next time, keep on praising God and keep on believing in Him. Bye. Oh my God, how you didn't make me wonder How you picked me up from the gutter When the king got a meal, Jami Loju Jami Loju, Jami Loju Oh my God, how you didn't make me wonder How you picked me up from the gutter When the king got a meal, Jami Loju You took good to me